Hi, welcome to KidVid Cinema. For the next five days, we will spend time getting to know boys and girls just like you. Each one of the kids has a story to tell about what makes them special or how they use Jesus' power to get them through. Our theme this week will be Rocky Railway, Jesus' Power Pulls Us Through. To the adults in the room, throughout the video, I will be asking questions at different times. You have a couple of options during those times. You can either pause the video and, and go through those questions with your child at that time, or you can go ahead and go all the way through the video and discuss the questions after the video. Your choice, up to you. Let's go ahead and start our adventure. So to get started, um, there are lots of things that make us special. And so I want you to think about some of those things that make you special. And while you're doing that, I'm going to introduce a character by the name, or not a character, a boy by the name of Dominic. And Dominic is pretty special too. Dominic loves a lot of things, but he has one sport that is his absolute favorite. It's karate. Now karate is pretty tough and there are a lot of things that you need to learn how to do and you've got to train. And so, um, Dominic learned pretty early on that he was going to need to be able to rely on Jesus to help him with his sport. So I'm going to move myself out of the way and I am going to play this video about Dominic. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it. And hi! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid it wasn't going to pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this and I didn't failed and I failed and I failed finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said this isn't going to be like those last times I am going to pass it I said you know what Jesus Jesus can help me get through this I'm just going to pray to him today I am going to pass the test tomorrow and I did in the Bible in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 it says for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. All right. 
Jesus's power does help us through do hard things. And that's the main thing that I want you to get from this lesson today is that Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Jesus helped Dominic be bold and brave and gave him a dad to help him practice. And remember, there were three things that were pretty hard in that video. The first one was that Dominic had to train really hard. He had to do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups, and he said that was pretty hard. Then the second thing was is that he wanted to break a board with the palm of his hand. And remember, he tried and tried and tried, and he saw other people doing it. And it took a lot of practice for him to be able to do that. And then the third thing that he had to do that was really hard was he had to take a test that was three days long. That was hard for Dominic. So I want you to think about some things that you've had to do that have been really hard. Where did you need Jesus's power to help get you through? Something you had to do. It could just be right now having to go outside and sometimes wear a mask and sometimes not wear a mask and maybe not being able to see some people that you want to see. Or it could be that you were learning how to do a new sport. Um, you might be learning how to read right now. That might be tough or learning how to write your name. Those are some tough things that you could do. Maybe counting or learning your letters. Those are all tough things. Think about something that was hard for you that you needed to ask Jesus for help. There's a Bible verse that was mentioned in the video, and it is Philippians 4.13. And that Bible verse goes like this. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Now, I'm going to teach you some motions to help you remember that Bible verse. And so I want you to listen carefully and watch carefully as I do it. it starts like this. You put your arms up and you say, for I can do everything. Then you're going to point up to heaven and say through Christ and then you're going to show your big muscles and say who gives me strength okay I'm going to ask you to repeat me while I do it so you're going to follow me follow my motions and repeat what I say ready for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength good job Let's see if we can do that all together now. Ready? We're going to push it all together and we're going to say it all together. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Very good. All right. So another thing that we have this week, and I hid it on my stuff somewhere. And so I'm going to have to find this really, really quickly, is that we had um a ram, and excuse me for this because I am not really sure where he went to. Oh, there he is. There's my ram. So we have a ram, and his name is Ramsey. And Ramsey is a big horn sheep. Now, you may have seen an animal very similar to this if you have ever been in the mountains. Um, there are strong, sturdy sheep that live way, way high up in the Rocky Mountains. And they're able to live up there because God made them climbers. Now, think about some places that you might like to climb. You may like to climb on the jungle gym at the park or the, at your school. Do you think that a ram would do very well climbing on that? Maybe not. Those little bars might be kind of tough for him to navigate. He might do okay with the stairs, but the bars might be a little bit tough. So you and Ramsey are made a little bit differently. You've got great strong legs, just like Ramsey does. His legs are meant, meant for climbing on the rocks. Your legs can do so many things as well. Show me how you can jump up and down. Wow, look at that. You do have strong legs. Sometimes Ramsey has to climb up tall, tall mountains to stay safe. That's hard work, but God gave him the power to do it. That reminds me of the way Jesus gave us the power. Now, Ramsey, to help us remember all of this, I'm sorry, guys, to help us remember um, all those hard things that he has to do, I want you to put your fists together like this. All right, and I want you to pretend that they're rocks. 
These fists will remind us of all the hard things that we sometimes have to do. And let's ask Jesus to give us the power to face these hard things. So we're about to close, but before we do, don't forget about Ramsey. Don't forget about the rocks. Don't forget about Dominic and the hard things that he had to do. And don't forget about those hard things that you have to do. And remember that Jesus, Jesus's power helps us do hard things. And let's go ahead and pray together. So I'm going to say the prayer. And as I say it, I'm going to pause and you'll repeat after me. Okay. Are you ready? Fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes. Ready? Repeat after me. God, sometimes life is hard. We have to do things that make us tired. We have to forgive people. That's hard too. Sometimes we have to go through sad things. I'm so glad we don't face those hard things alone. You are always with us, Jesus. Please give us the power to do the hard things we face in life. Amen. Well, boys and girls, it was great seeing you today, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow when we talk about how Jesus' power gives us hope. Have a great day.